What is up you guys? Welcome back. So it is now a few short days until I leave to go to Florida. Yay! So exciting. So if you haven't heard, I am going to Florida. And I am obviously going mainly to visit Logan. I am going for a month, which means packing. So I haven't finished packing. I usually don't ever finish packing until like the night before or the day of. But I finally did put aside the makeup that I'm going to take with me. So I thought I would actually share with you guys generally what I take of my makeup when I am traveling. This time especially I am going to America and I know I'm going to be buying quite a lot of makeup over there. Just because it is a lot cheaper but I am going to try not to go too overboard. So I usually do have a rule where I can only take two makeup bags excluding eyeshadow palettes because they're not going to fit anyway but i usually make a rule of only taking two makeup bags even if it is very forced and very very full so i thought it'd be interesting to show you guys what i generally take when i am traveling if it's only like a week trip or less i will definitely be taking less than this and before you say anything i'm not going to show the skincare that i'm taking because this it's pretty much it a bag full of samples so whenever I travel if it's a short trip I pretty much just survive on minis or samples and if it is a long trip I'll just take smaller sizes to get me started for the first few days and then I usually buy stuff when I'm over there especially if it's like Japan or America I am going to buy skincare over there so I never usually take that much with me and also skincare is a lot heavier and a lot bulkier than makeup is so that's my skincare bag and I'm going to show you guys what's typically in my makeup bags when i travel hey all right guys we're gonna get straight into it because it might not seem like a lot but i feel like it's gonna be quite a lot in the end before i go into the bags i'll just show you guys the palettes that i decided to take this time so i'm gonna take my naked palette the original first naked palette and then also the naked Heat. The original Naked is always just a good one. All you need to make a look and then some warm tones with the Naked Heat. So they are the general kind of all my eyeshadows that I'm going to be using on the trip. Is the first Naked palette and then the Naked Heat palette. Now we're going to move into the bags. Obviously they are absolutely packed in here. And yes, both of the makeup bags are Disney if you noticed. This one is Tinkerbell and then this one is Cinderella. This one's from the parks, Tokyo Disney, and then this one's from Disney Store in Tokyo. But they're both so cute. They do definitely fit a decent amount for how small the bag is. Let's go ahead and open them up. Oh, that is full. So I don't have an order or what in what. It's basically just to make it fit. So first things first, I am going to just order them into categories. So it's going to be a little bit easier to show you guys. So I'm going to go through everything per category. So first is the tools, I guess. These are just some makeup brushes. I try to keep it as minimal as possible, kind of the minimum amount of brushes I need to do my everyday looks. I am looking to replace a lot of my brushes on this trip. I've been using these for such a long time, so I am pretty over them and I think they are getting quite old. A powder brush, contour brush from Eco Tools. All of these are Sigma, like old Sigma brushes. So they're just a few eyeshadow brushes. I use this one for highlighting, a blush brush from Real Techniques, a brow brush for the Anastasia dip brow, so that's from Anastasia as well, and then a just little cheap travel size lip liner so they're pretty much all the brushes that I have and take with me and then I'm just gonna take one beauty blender which definitely needs some washing before I take it because I will buy some more over there and then my trusty eyelash curler that I cannot live without so that's generally just the tools that I've got and literally like just before I started filming this my eyeliner leaked in here so isn't that just great like literally just happened <sighs> I'm gonna clear everything to the side. Now I'm gonna show you everything in kind of like the order I use them. One, I'm only gonna take one primer, the Smashbox primer. It's not my favorite in all honesty. It makes my skin really, really smooth, which is cool, but I don't think it like lasts a really long time. Although the other primer that I've been using a lot is the Fenty and it's a big glass bottle, which is just a little too heavy and a little too big for me to carry. So I'm just taking this Smashbox one and I'll probably purchase some more over there. Next are foundations. I definitely tried to keep them to a minimum. My beloved Maybelline Pure Mineral BB 
cream because it is just the best lightweight one. So if I just want to pop something quick on, that's going to be the one. And then this one's a recent favorite. It's the Witch's Pouch um, Cushion Foundation. It's so cute and also really, really nice and dewy. It really gives a nice, good coverage with a dewy finish. So that's for the days I want to feel a little glowy and dewy. This is kind of my ultimate wear, the Body Shop Mac Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation, as I mentioned in my 2018 favorites. And to go with it, the Drops of Youth Serum in the Deluxe Mini because it can be a little bit drying, although because I'm going to Florida, I feel like this alone might be okay. Next are concealers. The Siam Tip Concealer, that's kind of like my ultimate high coverage under eye concealer. The Maybelline Age Rewind, a classic favorite, which I'm definitely going to replace once I'm there in America. And then the Kate... What's it called? It's just the Kate like stick concealer. This one's one for my blemishes. I've been using it for ages and I still have a lot left, but it's the perfect color for me and it gives really good coverage and super creamy too. Powder, I'm very minimal on my powder. The Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder and then the Body Shop Matte Clay. This one's definitely more matte and higher coverage. So it's for those um, glam days. And then this is my other powder that I'll just use for under eyes and all of that. Oh, and I should mention, I'm also gonna take my Maquillage Compact that I mentioned in my What's In My Bag video as well. It's just the one I carry around all the time and this is gonna stay with me like on my handbag. So it's not gonna be in these makeup pouches, but I'm definitely gonna have that on me. Next is contour and blush and highlight. Number one thing I always take when I'm traveling is probably my Hourglass palette. It is the Ambient Lighting Edit. Obviously I've had it for ages, like the name is rubbing off of it. I use this for absolutely everything. Like it's just so multi-use. It's great for when I travel because it does kind of have everything all in one. This one is like a light shimmery powder. So I can use it as a face powder, but also kind of like a highlight. These are both bronzers. I use this one a lot. And then two blushes. You got like a more pinkier, fuchsia one and then like your dusky rose which basically goes with every look so this one's a really nice one as well really neutral the body shop bronzer which has a bit more of color to it this is the more pinky one so it's the warm glow but this one like this is an only one as well i can just wear this on my cheeks and it looks absolutely beautiful my old mac studio fix this is my contour color so this is like pretty much the only one i have for contouring and it's perfectly fine for me the bourgeois blush in number 16 this one has a bit more of a coral tone to it that's why i am taking it because my other ones are more like pink so i wanted one kind of coral color so i'm gonna take that one and it's a really nice small size so i decided to take that one with me and then the nyx love you so mochi palette as my highlight just because it's a really small skinny friendly for travel pack but it's got three shades to it so i think it'll be really really handy and then this is a mini size of the hourglass like illuminator i got it in i think a mecca purchase it's a mini size but it's got such a nice shimmer so i can use that as a highlight and even like an eyeshadow so i thought i'll take this mini with me because it's so handy so little next we're moving on to brows sorry about the lighting it's like suddenly got a lot of shadow let me fix that this is the Anastasia Dip Brow, which I am definitely looking to replace while I'm over there. I've had it for so long and there's so little and it's like so dry. It's just gonna hold me over until I get a new one over there. And because that one is almost done, I actually have been using the NYX Micro Pencil, I think it's called, a lot lately and I've been really liking it. I use this more for like the outer ends of the brow and then I kind of buff it with this one, which is the Jordana Dark Brown Eyeshadow Pencil. It's a really powdery one, which I really like. Like, but I kind of mix these two together and then top it up with some brow gel, which this is the Essence Lash and Brow. So cheap, but does the job. So that's kind of my go-to brow set lately. Next is eyeliner. I am only going to take two with me because I feel like that's all I need. Plus, I will definitely get some more eyeliner over there. So for my black, I've got the Visse Color Impact Liquid Liner. And then for my brown, this is a brand called Sivan, which is kind of a really minor brand in Japan, but they do a lot of nice, like colored eyeliners and this is kind of a warm brown so i quite like it oh oh no it's because it leaked so this is the eyeliner that i was just saying leaked in my bag so hopefully it's not like out from that because that would suck oh no yeah there's still plenty in there i was gonna say but it's a really nice like warm brown so i'll take that one with me for my slightly more natural looks mascara and one eyeshadow actually so 
This is the Chi Chi eyeshadow in Living on a Prayer. It's just a really nice ashy brown. And I can use that like a contour as well as like the best transitioning shade. I can use it for like every look. So I don't quite have a color like that in the two palettes that I'm taking. So I'm taking that one singularly separate. And then I do have two mascaras. Of course, my classic telescopic. I'm gonna probably buy like five over there because they're so cheap over there and such a great mascara. And then I'm also gonna take the Facio one. This one is like the most waterproof thing you're ever gonna get. And because it does rain a lot in Florida and it is humid, I thought I'll take these for Sundays that I might be like pouring rain. This is the lengthening one in Facio and it just is so long lasting, like will not come off at all until you decide to take it off. So great one for if you are going swimming or humid or rainy weather really really good mascaras the Facio ones so my beloved roll-on eyeshadow sticks these are my absolute favorite they're just so easy and really good for the inner corners of your eyes to add a pop of shimmer the lighter one is a Misha one I've had like literally forever and then the Etude House bling bling one is another favorite as well the Etude House play 101 pencil in number 26 was it 28 this one's a bit more of a pink shimmer this is a recent purchase and has been a favorite lately and is the Innisfree Twinkle Glitter and it's in Toy Story packaging like could you die it's so cute but this one's a really nice like bronzy goldy glitter liner which I've been using under the eyes a lot lately next is eyelashes so I always have a pair of tweezers for putting on my lashes I'm not a put it on with my fingers person I'm definitely a put on with tweezers person my favorite D up glue which is absolutely battered but it still works fine so I'm gonna take that and then I've just put some of my frequently used or favorite lashes please don't freak out because i feel like some people might find this disgusting i was just like lashes sitting in there but it's just got like a few of my favorites and honestly i re-wear my lashes so many times minimum like probably 10 to 20 wears i don't understand people who throw out lashes after like three wears so this will last me like the whole time i'm there and i've got it in a little tin so it's nice and compact for travel which I do need to find a new case because Belle's looking like a little bit tattered. The last but definitely not the least and the most difficult section for me to pack is always lips. I always overpack my lips but I don't even care. I just like to change out my lip color all of the time. This one is another recent purchase in is free. It's a buzz one. Oh my god so cute. So this is actually like a um, balm with a tint and it smells like grapefruit which is amazing. So it gives like a little bit of a tint. Super moisturizing but nothing too intense it kind of just looks like bright natural lips so I'm going to carry that for the days that I'm not going to be wearing too much makeup which I think there will be plenty of those days a chewed house kiss full lip care this is just like a nice gloss that will pair well with my lip tint I did mention these in my what's in my bag video as well so my favorite red at the moment the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored it's probably been my favorite red for like a year now and I really want to try the other colors and I want to try her gloss as well but definitely the red I reach for when I want a red so I'm gonna take that with me other liquid lips the colored rain marshmallow this is like a grayish and then the Sephora cream lip stain in number 13 this is honestly one of my favorite colors I wear this so much it's almost empty so I'm gonna replace it when I'm over there and then the body shop matte lip in Tuscany Lily honestly this one doesn't last as long as other um, lip creams but it's kind of sheer which I like like it looks a bit more natural and this color is like oh my favorite color it just goes with absolutely everything and I feel like it just matches my lips really really well it's like my lip color but like slightly deeper and slightly more mauve so I wear this one like all of the time and I thought I would take that one with me this is a matte Chanel lipstick it is what is it La Romanesque it's like a nice berry color and I feel like I don't really have anything else in that color so gonna take that and then the two MAC lipsticks I'm taking hot Tahiti and well whenever I go somewhere I'll always have these two because I just tend to wear them a lot so the hot Tahiti is like a red but it's like a really creamy glaze ready rose I don't know it's just so pretty and goes with so many things and then the well is like a brown nude which I do like a lot as well and then lastly I'm gonna take this little baby guy it is my favorite lip liner by Bourjois it is the contour edition nude wave this is pretty much the only lip liner I use so I will be taking that little version with me because I did just buy two fresh ones so I'm just gonna finish this off and then the Australis oh I'm rolling away girl boss 
in Slay, which matches that lip liner. But oh my gosh, that's everything, and everything's like falling off the table, so yay! <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video of what I typically take with my makeup. It might have been a little overboard. I feel like a lot of people will be like, oh my god, that's so much. Or some people might have been like, oh, that's not as much as I thought, Tina. But overall, I think it's because I never do the same look every day. Like, I'm just not that kind of person. I will always change up my makeup pretty much every single day. So I take like a variety of colors and products to do different looks so that's why i kind of carry as much as i carry anyways if you did like the video please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what your current favorite makeup product is i feel like i don't talk about makeup as much as skincare so it still gets really excited to talk about makeup so please let me know what your favorite is currently and i'll see you guys in my next video bye